Hi guys, today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on this eye look right here. It is a halo eye using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, the new palette that I did the other tutorial on. This will be look number two. I did say I wanted to do three to four looks with each palette that I'm going to be showing you guys um, just so you can see the versatility of it. So if you have any other looks that you're wondering if can be done with this eye palette just leave the looks down below for me in the comment section and I will love to do some more experimenting with this palette I'm loving these colors and I can't wait to really dig into it even for the fall these colors are gorgeous um so let's jump into the tutorial and just a quick note all of my contact information is below snapchat instagram and like this video or subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> if you enjoy this look or if you've learned something new haven't seen this eye look yet on the tube <laughs> let's jump into this bye guys so here I am going to start in the crease color with Bond Fresco and really build that color I have already set my entire eye area with tempura from the palette. I do want this to be a more intense eye look, so I'm going to really build this transition shade. Now going in with Love Letter in the lower crease and again really building that color intensity. Just making sure to blend everything out into the Bon Fresco shade. Blending out the Bon Fresco just a bit more. Now I'm going to be going in with a little bit of red ochre in the inner corner and outer corner to create the more halo effect on the eye. Really paying attention to the shape that you're creating with this eye look with everyone's eye shape being different you want to make sure to pay special attention to your eye shape in particular and you'll see where I take a really detailed look at the outer corner so that I'm getting it right in the socket where I want it to be the color to be Now I'm going to brighten up that inner and outer corner and I'm going to be using the Venetian red right over top of that red ochre. Again building the intensity to make this eye look really pop. Blending out Love Letter just one more time, building that intensity that was a little bit was lost by adding it, the inner and outer colors. Inner and outer colors. Now I'm using a Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the color Golden Pink in the center of the eye. I'm just going to smudge that out along the perimeter that I want to um, create the shape that I'm looking for. Now 
Now I'm going to set that cream shadow with Primer Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette just to set everything and give it a little bit more shine. smudging out those edges and no harsh we don't want any harsh edges here so we're just going to blend all of that out again blend 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 I'm again adding the Venetian red to intensify the inner and outer corner no additional product on my brushes here um, but again the same brush that I was using for the love letter And I thought I had lost some of that color of the Bon Fresco, so I went ahead and added a little bit more. Just because I, even though it's a transition shade, I still wanted you to be able to see it. Blending that love letter gout just one more time. Really, really want you to be able to see the different shades in this eye look. Dusting off the excess powder and then I'm going to be going in with highlight and for highlight today I'm going to be using the Vermeer for highlight from the same palette oh nope I lie we're doing lower lash line got ahead of myself for lower lash line I'm going to be smudging out the Venetian red on the lower lash line as close to the waterline as I can get. You really don't want red shadow to go too far down under your waterline. It'll make you look sickly. So now that I've gotten that color placed down, I am going to smudge it out with Bon Fresco. Again, oh, sorry guys, out of focus. I'm just going to blend that out with the Bon Fresco, the same color that we used for the transition shade. Now we get to go in with the highlight, that Vermeer highlight. We're going to highlight our eyebrow bone, eyelid, our, our what bro? Our brow bone underneath the eyebrows and that inner corner. And I was thinking that other eye needed a little bit more highlight too, so I'm going to pop some more on there in a second. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, my Holy Grail Mascara. I love this mascara, but I probably am the world's slowest mascara applier, so I went ahead and fast forwarded to this. And that, you guys, is the completed look. I did not film an edit, an end for you, so I apologize. <laughs> 